What's up, everybody? This is CodyFire.tv, bringing you an overview of all of Cody, per se. You know, we have a lot of people asking, how do you do this? How do you do that? What does it actually do? And for those, this is more for a people, like, I would say, like, more of a new kind of level for Cody. But not only that, also to kind of get around our build and just kind of see how everything works instead of just saying, oh, hey, just go there, it does this and that. But we'll do a step-by-step -step series. We'll cover movies. We'll cover the TV shows, the sports, and we're gonna cover like maintenance, and of course, live TV, and also the new Dexter TV. See how that all works. And also, you know, C-Cloud. Let's not forget about C-Cloud, which is a good, um, you know, TV add-on, but Let's start from the beginning here. For example, uh, we'll start with music. Music's not really talked about a lot in the Cody community. Some people do utilize it, but let's cover uh, cover what we have here. I mean, if you go through all these, of course, these are just like shortcuts, main shortcuts to those exact things. And we click on music on our build here. I believe it just takes you to the general pop, uh, area where you actually, if you want to do music add-ons from here, additional ones, if you have a playlist, if you want to add your own music, if you have a server in the house that you want to go ahead and um, and do, or I would say just and get the music from, you can do it from here. You click on here, you link to your server, it'll scan the server or your drive, whatever, and then it'll add the music on there. But also we include some of the shortcuts to what most of the people use I guess you can say um, old school karaoke the Sunfly I mean I remember back in the day you can download the database it'll take a few minutes or so depending on your speed and once you download you can search any song and it's just like the old school karaoke TV you know like you can do uh, browse tracks if you want try A we'll do ABC by the Jackson 5 and it's going to take a few minutes here to load bear with me here but um, yeah it'll take you to the old style karaoke so you can hook up your Cody box to some kind of karaoke system and output like it says vocal 1, vocal 2, boom 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 whatever <laughs> You get the idea, you know, music kicks on. So it's that kind of a karaoke. So that's what that app, or I should say add-on, is good for. And of course, you can do the, the YouTube style also. Beats One Radio, we added it here. I know some of the streams have been off, but um, you can try various different ones, see how that works. You click on them. Like I said, it's, it's been taking, Cody's been acting a little funny today, so it doesn't do this all the time, but... I said just today, it's been acting a little kind of weird, a little slow. I'm not going to say sluggish because it's not really sluggish, but just in general. Like, it takes a few seconds longer to load today for some reason, but I'm not sure what it is. If it's the Wi Fi that we've been using or uh, just Cody in general. But like I said, with Beats Radio, some works. I'm not, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But next one, Boiler Room. Of course, SoundCloud. Now with SoundCloud. You can set it up, you can explore, you can search. Uh, I don't know what's on there. Just like for kind of music, say you like house music, you want to search for Cascade, you'll go on there and it pulls up whatever's new and then you hit play and so on. But you can log in with your uh, credentials and it'll save it. Same thing with Pandora, once you open Pandora, enter your username and then it comes up and then you can actually have it you know it'll load all your playlists and all your settings from your actual app Pandora app so that's why it's not popping up on here iHeartRadio same thing and like I said for the music part of this you can cover a lot you know you can add music and so on but it's pretty much the same thing in a general plain vanilla version of Cody but like I said every build mod whatever you want to call them now you know there's people saying look oh, it's because you changed a background you change this and that's not a build but i mean that's a totally another subject where we can 
focus on builds and what they have. But for this build, Cody Fire, we plan to change a lot of it, but for now it is what it is. Just wanted to create a simple build that people can utilize and just get around. Nothing too complicated, not too much stuff going on, not too many animations. Just give me straight to the point. I want TV shows, I want TV shows. I want music, I want movies. Just get me to those sources and that's it. No BS and so on. But anyhow, let's cover the movie part of it. So if you go to movies in our build, it's just gonna take you to I think uh, to to Genesis shortcut. The general movies what's new, I believe. And we have a little mod here with uh, the Aeon Knox. Silva, which gives you this nice layout. You get a background, you get, you know, you get a full screen of the movies. And Genesis, for those that have been using Cody for a while, it's the go-to app for some people. I mean, I always tell people don't rely too much on it. There are plenty of other add-ons, but people love Genesis. And you know, shout out to the de developer for staying up to date with uh, updates and constantly working on this it's a hell of a job and um, to make you know pretty much make us happy for a free add-on and there was rumors that you know it's supposed to be paid add-on now and so on but I mean once you get the updates he automatically tells you hey this is a free add-on it is what it is and he tries to maintain the best possible you know, shout out to everybody that involved in the community because it does become more of a hobby than actual viewing. You know, something breaks, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter right away. We're like, oh my God, what's going on? We're going to, how do we fix this? And, you know, let's just be thankful that we get this kind of service and we'll see how long it lasts. But for now, uh, let's try this. What it does now, it'll load an app. It tries to clean out the sources and pretty much the ones that time out, the remaining sources are the ones that it picks up, I believe. Once it hits 100%, it now kind of gives you that full list of, hey, this is what I think is working, so give it a shot, and so on. So let's try this movie, Max. I'm not going to play the whole thing. Do a copyright, like I always say in my videos. You know, I had several videos got taken down because of short noted, you know, footage of this and that. And audio and so forth but let's just try what it is here and like as long as it loads up shows you something and then uh, like see there it goes so sorting through all the different links it pulls up you know the working cycle right here and then um it should love the movie so when, like, like i said once it comes on i'm gonna just kind of briefly play a little bit of it and so on i think it's on version 5.1.1 i could be wrong as of today's date but normally it does not take this long. Like I said, I don't know if it's just traffic in Cody lately, all the sources and people are hitting all the same things, but you know, it's been acting kind of slow today, not every day. Just today I've been having some issues with everything. So doing the best you can with this people, but um, this is what Genesis does. It'll, or what it does now, I should say before it was, you had to go through all of them, what works, to see if this works, if that doesn't work. You know, they've been through so many changes. And, you know, this is one possible fix. You know, we had different tweaks as far as the links. Let's do the change of source order and so on. We can go on and on and on. But yeah, see, for some reason, I don't know if it's just that movie. But let's try. Let's see. Let's try tight. So do the same thing. Um, it's really hard to say with Cody what works, what's gonna be the best. But you know, all it, it all depends. Various factors, your connection, um, your add-ons, etc. Like for example, I said no stream. I'm not gonna focus too much more time on this if Genesis is not working right now. Like I said, it's just been today, and yeah, some people are like, oh, it doesn't work at all, but, you know, you gotta be patient, especially for something that's free. We can't just be like, hey, I need it now. If you want something that's working reliable 100, 
percent you're gonna definitely need to pay for it so there are other options let's try one channel uh, kind of like the same thing like I said I incorporated this layout to uh, to various sources or various add-ons so it works differently one channel works a little bit differently it's been around for a while too it populates different things the highest views are pretty much the best ones you can get DVD cam and all of see it loads pretty quick but like I said, I'm not going to play all of it. Don't want to get booted again. But they're pretty reliable. They maintain this, the website, the database a lot. So all your new content gets pushed on there. Click is another good source. I haven't tried it in a while. But um, you can go through all these different ones. Uh, Popcorn Flicks. I know popcorn time has been an issue. It's totally up to your discrepancy if you want to use popcorn time sources sometimes because it is considered a torrent. And of course, if you're downloading, you know, lately all the, the companies have been sending out notices for piracy. You know, you're downloading this, downloading that. Just keep that in mind with popcorn time. That was an issue that I seen uh, throughout, throughout Facebook and. Uh, different sources like hey, is popcorn time good it is but like I said you have to be careful get a VPN there is I IPV vanish I believe which we have we can post a link to that later on and go from there but um, just be careful with anything that's torrent related peer-to-peer -peer. because once you download it you know you download it regardless and then that's where you kind of get in trouble streaming is a whole different topic but let's just keep it at that for now uh, we're trying click again. I haven't used this in a while. I'm not sure if there's an update or we have to update it here, but I'm just going to see how this works. I just want to give you a general idea of how things work in Cody and inside of our Cody Fire build. Like I said, I might break this video down into multiple areas, but for now, let's just um, keep rolling with the entertainment hub. It's been a pretty good source. You get your TV shows, you get your documentaries. Uh, it searches through different things, for example, TVHQ, you can try it, latest episodes, and uh, just kind of depends on what you want. Uh, iZombie, try that. It's been a pretty good source to use to go, like a go-to in the past. I mean, I still use it from time to time. Like I said, it just depends on what you like, how you like to use Cody and then after a while you kind of have your own way of using it your your go-to apps your shortcuts and what's good for this kind of movie what's good for that kind of movie etc TV shows you know you'll pretty much figure out your own way of getting around Cody doesn't matter if it's uh you know this build the plane build they have or, or you know all the other popular ones you know beast spins uh, there's plenty out there but you know whatever you whatever you like and as long as it works this is just to give you a general idea because they all pretty much use the same add-ons so it's just the way we lay things out make them look for you you know how we have them set for you and so on so but that's uh, entertainment hub again Genesis the way we have our set you know is we pretty much wanted to choose the best apps for each category. Of course, Ice Films, I think they do now support uh, on clicks. I think they support ads, so you'll just see like an ad pop up. I'm not sure if they're still doing it, having used it in several weeks, but if it comes up, you click on it, and it'll take you to an ad, and then it, you know right away your your film, TV show, etc., comes up. But it's been one of the go-to ads since you know being the time Ice Films, along with uh, which was one channel before now it's Prime Wire. But um, you can check it out. You know they have a bunch of HD content, which is good. And you can also do favorites. Try this really quick. See if it pops up or not, and then we can go from there. No ads popped up this time, but like I said, you might get them once in a while. You might get a captcha where you actually put in your, you know, whatever's on the display to get access. Phoenix is a good app. It has 
movies, it has TV shows, it has international um, live TV. It's pretty much loaded with a bunch of different stuff, and um, we have a set here for the movies, but like I said, you have everything here. It's, it's a heck of a source also. Recommend Phoenix. Salts also, and one of the favorites is uh, the Mud Snuts. You can go on there. Like I said, we have the category set to whatever we're in, so right now we're focusing on the movie part of it still. You can click on this, and shout out to the developer of Mud Snuts. Keep up the good work, you know. I think you're on my top, top 10 as far as add-ons, and hopefully, uh, you know, it'll be around for a while. Zeus, I still have it on here. I know it's gone down, but now it's actually, yeah, it's not even coming up no more, so I gotta take that out and replace it with other things. So, TV shows, if you go on TV shows, you click on the main category, we have it set to iStream. iStream is, um, it's a heck of a, what can I say? It's a, it's an add-on that's kind of like the go-to if you can't find anything, if you don't, if you like to combine everything in one source, it's like a plug-in, and you can do like a super search pretty much. Think of it as super search, and it pulls all the different uh, TV shows, all the movies, everything from every source combined pretty much. So we can do most popular, you can search in there, and like I said, as long as you set it, well it's actually set up once, and this is what you get. It'll pretty much bring up all the popular content. He has the ad, it runs for a little bit, but once it's loaded, then it searches pretty much everywhere uh, throughout the internet, I believe, and different sources, not just within Cody sources, to get you different things. So, for example, if you want, um, let's see, views, sending, American Horror Story, you can click on it, and it'll bring up all the different seasons. It's a pretty good app to try out, you know. I like it, by the way, it's one of my favorite shows right now. I've been watching all of them and it's something to get into. It's a good one. Lady Gaga's in there and it's pretty interesting. But that's uh, iStream. And then we have Click, one channel again, you know, different ones. Most popular is gonna be uh, Genesis, Ice Films, and then of course, let's go back to Genesis really quick. You can do the same thing in, um, in Ice Films. If you go here, it'll bring up your your TV shows, but if you go to like My Genesis, and then you can store all your movies, favorite TV shows, etc. All you gotta do is, when you're on something, say latest movies, or whatever category you're on, say you want this one, you hit the option button. Let's see if I can do it from here. I'm on my laptop, but see it's not working. Uh, there it goes. And then you can add to your favorites, and then it'll be. And then the next time you go to My Genesis, it'll be in there. Uh, most popular it is My Genesis Ice Films. So you can search here. Searching here brings up uh, the search in Genesis. Um, latest episodes, I believe it's Stream Engine, which is a pretty cool engine. They set things up according to uh, calendar dates. TV for me is also pretty good. Try it, you know, it's all TV episodes and so on. And then I think new episodes, we have it linked to, which was Zeus, but I have to see if that even brings up anything. I actually gotta change it, but we'll go from there. Um, video add-ons, and people have a difference, so. We'll start video add-ons, so you can add video content here through your library. Same thing as the music. You can sync your music and all that good stuff. And then also, this is a way to get, to see what else is on your uh, Cody build. If you wanna scroll down, you kinda hit the right arrow and it jumps down further. And it brings up every category you have here on here. And then add-ons will be like your program add-ons and so on. But in, on this build, we have it set to uh, Two different things. So, NaviX, it's one of the old school uh, since the Xbox Media Center started, etc. You know, people started utilizing this. This is how I first started with the, with the XBMC, which is now Cody. It's a heck of a uh, different thing. 
you can go through here different categories movies tv shows there's just tons i do highly recommend navi x again probably in top top 10 along with other ones uh clear cash in our build we have a set you click on it and it does just that it clears your cash and be sure to clear your cash once in a great while and then we have the raw maintenance which is for when you have issues it starts to slow down same thing clear your cash hit it once when to delete that so on uh, clearing cash thumbnails clear your thumbnails purge packages and what this is good for if you have like a fire tv fire tv stick you hit that part or that i would say that point where you your memory is full low so and so that's when you would do something like that that frees up the memory uh programs takes you to the programs you really don't want to mess with any of this too much unless you're doing um, other stuff but you have to be pretty know what you're doing in here you don't want to start configuring things you don't want to mess around with maintenance tool too much unless you're pretty advanced and then again the eye view guide i'm kind of iffy on this it's cool it's set up but um we have it set here and of course it comes up but it's it's becoming a lot of maintenance I know I have to set it up once, like for having, I took it off last night, I added it again, but I have to reset it. Normally, you would have all your programming on here, and that's just another video to do on that. Or there's plenty of other videos on the iView TV. I think it did get updated today. CCloud TV, uh, they just rolled out, um, I believe it's the source where you can actually go on there, upload your own stuff as you know users. So whatever content we have, we can add to this community and it'll be part of this list. So that's very cool about C Cloud TV to do because um, not only is just them involved in uh, maintaining it, it's also, hey, people out in the community, sorry, I have kind of a little allergy going on, but my channel is stuffy. Um, anyhow, but if people involved in the community want to contribute, it's a good way to contribute, and there's a tutorial. And I will post something on that also, a link to it where you can uh, go on there, upload your own content. It is a good source for a live TV. I believe you can incorporate it into the IBU TV guide. Like I said, there are tutorials out there, but um, like again, that's another subject. Dexter did get updated 2.0, so we're looking at Dexter 2.0. And you have Canadian channels, US, UK, and of course, everyone's favorite. I gave up on IPTV stock for a long time ago, got tired of it. Got tired of all these different alternatives that were out there and so on. But Dexter's been pretty reliable. And, you know, these channels are not maintained by him as there is, you know, discrepancy right here. Try two, three times, they might work. They don't control the channels not these channels the stalker channels the other channels they do maintain so if it does go down give it a little bit of time and they'll pretty much come up whenever they get to it but be sure to donate to dexter also dexter tv and uh for the hard work it's just they try to keep up and uh with the community and make us happy by doing live tv for all of us you know and that's a heck of a job but like i said this is a stalker part of it which is not working that well but um, just kind of play around with this, see if it works. Like I said, sometimes you need to try them two to three different times. But that's again the stalker part section, I should say, not part in a in Dexter TV. You go back to Dexter TV, um, live TV, you can do US, you can do entertainment, you can try Fox, see what works. You know, there are different channels, different lineups on here that do work, and like I said, it just takes time. This live TV, live TV is pretty much pretty hard to maintain sometimes, but it, it, you know when it's done right, it's done right. That one works. Uh, TBS, we'll try TBS. Give that a shot. That should come up, and like I said, HD quality. You know, again, big thanks to the Dexter TV team. Follow them on YouTube and Twitter. I think Opti for Opti Games for you. I could be wrong, but I'll post that as well also. And again, like Channel Pair, Operation Robocop is a heck of an app. I think it just got updated, but yeah, it's not coming up. I'll have to fix that. There is an update for that. International TV, same thing. VW TV. 
has always been good. You know, you get a lot of UK, UK content, live sports, live TV. We'll see what's on here. Be sure to you know, donate to them. You can if you want to keep things going. And, you know, he does provide some live TV. Different channels. Like I said, it varies with live TV. I mean, to me, it's not really important. I, I can just wait for something to come out later on. Cash it on the on the links or whatever Genesis um, one channel and all that you know. But this is a good source. Wolf um, Wolf IP TV is good for the Latin channels, Spanish community. You can go through all the different sources, music, uh, adult section, movies in Spanish. They have a pretty good section. Uh, Pinoy Broad again. This is for the Filipino community. This is not live TV. These are just kind of like your on-demand little clips or different things. International channel, which is linked to Wolf IPTV. No, Phoenix, I should say. Yeah, you can go in here, whatever different language, nationality, you know, whatever you prefer. It's all in here. You click on it, it gives you, a, you can, for example, try France. It'll give you, you know. A different list whatever they have their radio they are TV shows and so on and you know Phoenix is a heck of an app for that for live TV sports TV shows you name it you know it works works pretty well and uh, at all the different things but I'm not gonna stress off of that one you'll file CV 1.3 believe this is yeah it's another Spanish add-on that we incorporated same thing, you have all, all those different things, sports, education, movies, and all that. Cody Flex is also a different one for Spanish. You get Spanish HQ, you get documentaries and all that for the Latin Spanish community. Uh, we cover that. Cartoons, of course, you know, you can go to cartoons and you can search cartoons and it'll pull up any cartoon. You say you like Batman, it'll do Batman. Brings up different ones. I think it's tied to Cartoons 8 or uh, Super Cartoons, I can't recall. But it should pop up here shortly and go from there but they have cartoons they think needs to be updated so characters this is super cartoons you click on here with all the old favorites cartoons you know, live some of your childhood memories the Disney collection is going through Phoenix it's very cool you can kind of find any movie from the 30s up to now and it's, it's pretty cool all the Disney stuff kitty cartoons super cartoons again watch cartoons most popular they're all tied to uh, you know different ones and they are I think there is some anime I'm not sure what yeah watch cartoons there's a lot of anime too if you're into anime uh, what else is here sports devil of course you know our favorite sports app pay-per-view and all that you click on here whatever source you try actually let's try Xenox has been pretty okay recently, but we'll try to see what is working right now. I'll try this one. And like I said, it's just kind of like an overview of all the different things for sports. Um, you name it. You know, we just want, want you to understand the ins and outs of Cody, this build, and in general, like all your, you know, your playing build, and every build is different, but at least you know what does what with uh, each add-on so well I'm not gonna wait for that to load right now choose this to try to load but like I said they're all different um, I work most of the time Cody streams is a paid one Cody streams TV you can pay for it get sports life some live TV I think and then pay-per-views uh, NBA full games click on there it does replays sports I believe it's in the Robocop Operation Robocop but again I have to update it so it can work and there is an update so it's not coming up and then of course sports through Phoenix sports access dot se has been one of my favorites you go on there it's a paid service you can pay things like six dollars for a day twelve dollars for a month or three months it's like twenty something dollars but you can check out the full information sportsaccess.se and see so robocop timed out 
is a new add-on. They're, they were having some issues earlier, hosting issues, like it says right there, but that should be taken care of. Uh, it's a heck of an app. You get everything in HD. Just click on it and see if it's on here. You have to log in. I don't want to do that right now, but it works really well. And that's all oh, weather's weather. Of course, you know, your triple X for all you fanatics out there. Uh, you have erotic, you have all these different ones. You name it, it's there. You, hey, <laughs> that's all I gotta say, it's there. Weather's weather. You can plug it in the settings and it'll bring up all the different stuff. And we incorporated the wizard on here, so for feature updates, you're gonna just click on it. Instead of doing the full launch and then, uh, you know, doing all the process of clean install and so on, you'll just click on here. And then any future updates we have, it'll just load them up on there and reinstall everything. So that's a good part of it. But be sure to uh, just kind of play around and get a feel for it. See how you like it. Uh, we are going to make a different kind of a build pretty soon. Something more intense to see what we can do. Focus on U.S. market and kind of just a little, little less maybe, but a little more, you know. It's kind of hard to say, but it depends what kind of direction we want. Look-wise, it'll be way different. More tweaks, but you get the idea. Just wanted to make this video, like I said, so you guys get an idea how everything works. Cody Fire Build, the Cody system, ecosystem, etc. You know, what add-on is this, what add-on is that. And of course, if you want to add feature ones, go here. Any feature add-ons, you know, type in your repo and you back out. You can go to add-ons, install from zip or install from repo, and then whatever you downloaded at the time, it'll come up on there. And uh, it should be installed in here without a problem. So there you have it pretty much in a nutshell. I just wanted to give you a full explanation of the build, Cody, and how things work. So hopefully um, you get a lot of understanding out of this and you kind of get the idea, especially if you're like a new person, just like, hey, what do I do here? Or what is this and what is that? You know, at least you have an idea now where to go. And who knows, you might want to be inspired to do your own uh, shortcuts, your own build, whatever. And just do a lot of research but that's what we want to do today just touch base and kind of have you understand how this all works so there it is in a nutshell like i said this is the cody fire build you can get it at http colon forward slash forward slash cody fire builds with s dot com forward slash repo and again um cody fire dot tv is our website you can find us on youtube and you can find us on Facebook at the CodyFire.tv group. And that's for any questions, any help. You know, a pretty reliable group and pretty knowledgeable people on there. And just check us out. Use the community page, CodyFire.tv. Check us out on Twitter, CodyFire, D-O-T, TV. And there you have it. Be sure to like our video. Subscribe to our channel for future updates, future videos. If you have any questions or concerns, comment down below to answer any questions I might uh, when I can I should say pretty busy throughout the day but until next time happy streaming